This is not the kind of reception Donna Strickland is used to in her laser lab at the University of Waterloo. Rock star treatment for an associate physics professor who happens to have just won a Nobel Prize. That win came as such a surprise to Strickland that when the Nobel Committee called her at 5 this morning, she hung up on them after they put her on hold. And then I said, there's got to be something wrong, so we did hang up. But, but my husband and I discussed this a long time, like, how long am I supposed to hang on? And then I kept saying, this would really be a cruel prank if this is just somebody pranking me. After an email and a callback, Strickland learned she would be sharing the prize for her postdoctoral thesis published more than 30 years ago. Somebody from the Nobel Prize, think, they think it's the first time ever that someone got it for their very first paper. Um, so over the years when I've met people, they have said, you know, haven't you got that Nobel Prize yet? But I always thought they were kidding with me. The discovery for which Strickland and her thesis supervisor Gerard Moreau won the prize is called chirped pulse amplification. It led to significantly more powerful and precise lasers that were also smaller, allowing, for one thing, safe laser eye surgery that has corrected the vision of millions of people worldwide. Students already inspired by Strickland's work are thrilled. It's used in almost every laser today. I don't know if people know that. And so she, she could have made a lot of money if she had patented it, let's say, but uh, she chose not to, uh, being the scientist that she is. And uh, I think that's honorable. And, and she's, it's paid off for her. She's won the Nobel Prize. When the question came up of whether the university's first Nobel Prize laureate should be given a full professorship, the school's president said she will still have to go through the process but I told her that she doesn't have to submit a very long CV. One line will be sufficient. Strickland's planning to pick up her prize in December. Ron Charles, CBC News, Waterloo, Ontario. Before Donna Strickland, the last woman to win the Nobel Prize in Physics was Maria Gapert Meyer in 1963. She advanced the understanding of atoms. The only other woman is a name you might recognize, Marie Curie, in 1903 for pioneering research on radioactivity. Curie also won the Nobel for Chemistry in 1911 for discovering radium. So just three women out of more than 200 people to receive the physics prize since it was first awarded more than a century ago. Why the gender gap? Is there hope for change? The CBC's Kayla Hounsel has that angle tonight. Safir Kaur, Doctor of Philosophy in Physics. To accept a PhD in physics on the day Donna Strickland wins a Nobel Prize is something special. It feels like so great. It's like a wonderful day for women, I would say. I've been in a male-dominated field all through my academic career. But Dalhousie professor Sarah Wells says she's personally experienced sexism in science. I think in order to stay in this field and success, you kind of have to just put it aside and just shrug. That sexism appears to be alive and well. Recently, Italian professor Alessandro Strumia sparked outrage when he said that physics was invented and built by men and that women are actually being hired over men who are more qualified. He made the comments at a workshop organized by CERN, a world-leading physics lab in Switzerland. I think that they're from a place of academic jealousy. Dr. Jessica Wade was at that gathering. And I think that we just need to get to a stage where young scientists, if they're feeling that they're being bullied and if they're feeling that they're not being treated well, can stand up and can speak out and can get the support that they need. Professor Sarah Wells says she's not surprised by Strumia's comments. She also says efforts to attract more women to the field need to start earlier because young girls are often dropping math and science before they get through high school. That leaves them ineligible for some university courses. But she says even those who do pursue science often go unseen. Even behind a lot of the previous Nobel Prizes in physics, there were lots of women working behind the scenes, sometimes in very key roles, and then were not recognized uh, for their work. On the other hand, 29-year-old Satbir Kaur says she has never experienced sexism in the lab. Well, I think that the times are changing, women are coming forward, and in future we hope we get many more Nobel Prizes. Hope for future academics trying to make their way in the field of science. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Halifax.